centimeter of snow that's coming seems like this always happens just before a trip so I thought today since I'm kind of packing all my stuff all my gear for it for my trip I thought I'd do kind of like a, a quick what's in my bag it's been a while since I did one of those and for those that are new on the channel maybe they don't they've never seen what's in my bag so it's gonna show everything from photography stuff to the video stuff that I use so I'm definitely looking forward to showing that. What's up everybody? So today, since I'm packing, I thought I'd show you everything that I carry with me on my travel. So tomorrow's a travel day, so I'm pretty much gonna have to pack. So I thought while I'm packing, I'm gonna do an updated what's in my bag for those that are new on my channel and for those that are also all on my channel and still want to know what I have in my bag. It's going to be a bit long, but hopefully you'll find something informative in here and it won't be too boring for you. So I'm going to just start off by pretty much I laid everything on the table here. So I'm just going to go through it from right to left and that should cover everything. First off, obviously, I'm going to have my drone I'm going to take with me, which is the DJI Phantom 4. And I have a one battery on it and an extra battery and I think that's enough and I have the display here with the built-in screen because it's just I don't have to connect my phone and that's really really nice and I, I always believe in carrying extra stuff with you so an extra set of propellers is definitely helpful because let's say you do damage one it's good to have backups and I have here with me filters for the drone. It's ND and polarizer filters. It's a 4 stop, 8 stop and 16 stop ND filter. You just pretty much screw on your on your camera and they're really really small. I don't know if you can see that. So and they're sometimes if it's too bright outside and you want to get that you know if you're shooting 24 frames per second you want to get 50 frames per second you want to get a shutter speed. If you're shooting like 24 frames per second and you want to get a shutter speed of 50, you want to cut down on the light and this might be helpful to get that, to get you to that nice shutter speed and it's good because it's a polarizer as well so it definitely, even if you don't need to cut the light, it adds a bit of, just boosts the color up and I've seen the difference and it looks really really nice. The second thing I carry with me is my tripods. I have the three-legged thing Albert here, right here. And this one I'm using right now for mostly video because if I ever wanna set up my video camera, I'll just set it up on that. And I have my three-legged thing Winston here, which I use for photo because it's just more sturdy and I trust it to hold my camera. And the reason why I went with two tripods that are the same kind because I just wanna have one, one system of tripod for both my cameras I can swap between. Before I used to use a different tripod, so I would have to have a different plate on on my camera, on one camera and from the other. So I can't really switch around with the tripods. So definitely it's good to, it's just one of those minor details that I find saves a lot of time and helps me in the long run. And now here I have my photo camera, which is a Sony a7R II. I have the 16 to 35 Sony Zeiss lens, the F4. And I have the, L bracket from three-legged thing here. It's really nice when you want to switch your camera from horizontal to vertical and I pretty much that's all I all I carry I keep the 16 to 35 on it the lens on it And I have the 70 to 200 right here also that I carry for a lens and this pretty much all the lenses I carry because I really don't need more than that, you know, it's just one of those things that I find these two lenses will do a lot, will cover most of the stuff that you, you kind of you kinda need. And I always carry extra batteries, I have five extra batteries for the Sony, I have three extra batteries for the GH5, 
I have extra memory cards, it's really really important to carry that. And also for a tripod I have the, the Gorilla Pod here. And usually that's kind of good for the video if you just want to set up your, if you just want to set up a quick shot, you can use it, you can hold hand hold it when you're recording yourself. Another thing I use for video when I'm when I'm traveling, when I'm filming sometimes, it's the Xeon Crane Virgin 2. I think not the newest one this is the the second model of the old one and this one it allows me to film those like smooth shots it looks like a drone flight so it's kind of fun using these two so it's a combination when I'm doing video between the Xeon crane the gorilla pod and just being set up on a tripod permanently and they both offer different stuff to kind of mix all these videos together and for audio, when I'm doing video, I pretty much have a Rode mic, Video Mic Pro, that I put on the camera. And this is a backup mic, and I have a mic on the camera right now, the video camera. It's good to have a backup mic as well, because if something goes wrong on your trip, you don't want to be left with nothing. And I also have the Sennheiser EW100G3 microphone. It's a, it's a transmitter and a receiver. So you put one on the camera, you put the other one on you. And you, what's nice about this is that if you're set up on a tripod, your video camera on a tripod, you can pretty much roam free and your your video is just as good. Your audio is really good and it syncs it up with your video so it's always on the, on the file. You don't have to sync it up later. And that's kind of fun to have because you have the freedom of walking around versus when you have a mic like this, you just kind of have to stay within close range. And I carry extra batteries for the mic because uh, extra set of batteries for the mics. I have batteries inside the microphone, the receiver and the transmitter, and I have a backup one because those might run out. Also for my tripod, I carry these uh, these legs that I have that I swap out. They're, in, they're like spikes and different kind of legs for, for different scenario. I'm gonna take these with me as well because it's kind of important. I can just take off the, the rubber leg here at the bottom of the tripod and swap it out. Obviously, I'm gonna take my filters with me, my camera filters. I have a, a Lee pouch here with, um, I think, 10 filters inside. So I have uh, three ND filters. I have a six stop, a 10 stop, and a 15 stop. I have a polarizer, circular polarizer from Lee, the 105, it's really, really big. And, and I have uh, the Lee filter. I also got some new filters right here. I have the filter holder, I have a, a medium grad and a two stop and a three stop medium grad and the filter, I've never used these. I think they're really helpful when, when a soft, is too, soft grad is too soft and hard edge is too hard. This is the one to use. And I have a reverse grad and D that I haven't really tried yet, but I'm curious to try it. So all together I have like 13 filters, so it's a lot of filters, but I really like filters and I find them really, really nice to use because you get that image in the camera. And I obviously have some lens cleaning pen and filter cleaning pen and a cloth right here in case you gotta clean up your filters sometimes. It's good to have that. I have a Sony remote for my camera because I don't like to touch the camera taking the picture and an extra battery as well. And also what I use for video is I have a, a GoPro Hero 5 and it's already got the the same plate as the tripod on it so if I ever want to set it up on a tripod or on the Gorilla Pod that I have they all use the same plate which is quite nice that means I can swap out like I said I can swap out cameras really really quick without having to worry about switching out the plate every time put a different plate on so I just so, so my systems all integrated kind of seamless as possible so that's kind of a you know good thing to have when you pick something if you're doing this to pick the same kind of system and make your life a whole lot easier because this is a lot of gear to carry like believe me or not you know so i have that but this is really fun i have it with the suction cup right here and what's fun about this is that you can put it in your car on your t on your windshield you can do a time lapse while you're driving with it you can do a you can record yourself in the car where you have your hands are free and you can just record with it it's good it does 4k video so it's really really nice to have and they're really versatile you can do a lot more with it you can take a lot more chances with it because it's waterproof and it lasts you it's pretty good 
and also pretty much everything here I am gonna carry with me in this the backpack that I have the Peak Design 30 liter backpack and I like this bag I've managed a way to fit it all into it into this bag while I'm traveling you can actually watch a video that shows you how I fit a drone and my photography gear in it the video camera always stays in my hand because I'm always recording with it or I have it on the gimbal or on the gorilla pod so I don't need to put it in the camera bag also I have a 30,000 mEh here it's a you know it's a power bank for charging my phone when I'm out and I obviously I have the hard drive external hard drive that I that I use to store all my photos and videos and I have a water bottle obviously a first aid kit because that's really helpful because I always tend to injure myself and I put it on a on a, like a carabiner so you can pretty much just hang it anywhere on your on your camera on your on your camera bag and it doesn't take much room so pretty much everything here in terms of extra batteries and stuff it goes in this big design backpack that I have the 30 liter backpack and this is the everyday bag I think but everything that I the extra batteries all go in the bag but whenever I'm traveling all the charging cables and all that stuff which can add up to a lot because there's a lot of stuff I put it in this one of these sync tag kind of a back back pouch and the stuff that I don't need to have on hand I just shove it in there I shove it in my check-in my checked-in luggage and I leave it in the hotel room so whenever I need to go back to the hotel room this is where I charge everything because I have enough extra batteries to last me through the day so I don't need to have my charges on me as I'm as I'm just going about during the day and the tripods they pretty much when I'm traveling on the plane they go in my checked in bag because I don't want to carry that weight and it's a lot of weight as it is so I definitely keep put it in my checked in bag unless I have to take one out due to weight but usually I put it in and it goes through fine and, and it's more secure and you don't have to worry about it also I carry Kind of a, a toolkit here, multi-tool. It's really good to have in case something gets, you need to tighten something out or you need some tools. It's good to have that. So I think this is kind of it. I think I went through everything. Remember how I said it's kind of fun to have everything integrated and it just makes your life a lot easier when shooting. So another little quick trick is I have these Lee plastic adapters on the camera and Instead of when I used to when I first got my filter I used to always unscrew the adapter for the filter holder and then put the lens cap back on So it was annoying every time having to do that and when you're switching lenses you have to do the same thing So basically I got these plastic Lee filter Kind of caps, you know, you can buy them and comes in pack of three and you keep your adapter on And you just pretty much every time you want to take a picture you just remove the plastic thing Put your leaf filter holder then slide in your filters and that's kind of it and what i do is i bought i bought two of them so basically i have another adapter on the 70 to 200 and so basically if i ever swap lenses i don't have to swap adapters and and that's kind of it so it's really fun to have that that little easy it makes your life a lot easier it just makes your life a lot easier and I find it really really helpful and what's nice about my two lenses the, the Sony 70-200 G lens the f4 and the 16-35 to lens is they're both the same diameter size so basically I just bought the same filter holder so but it doesn't really make a difference Alrighty, so this is kind of it for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. And if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I showed, just leave me a comment and I'm happy to answer your questions. I really like questions and I like talking to you guys. So uh, this is kind of it. And do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button just in case you, when I put a video, you get notified. Alright, see you guys. Until next time. Oh, also I forgot. I'm going to be going live this coming Thursday at 1 p.m. Montreal time. So basically, if you guys are around, do check it out. But God, hopefully the internet is going to be good there where I am. And hopefully it won't give me any problems. I can do that. And for those of you that are wondering, I'm going to be going to Hawaii for a couple of days. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to definitely make some videos there. But I'm going to try to upload from there. But if the internet's not good, I'll probably do it when I come back. 
so there might might not be any videos for a while but come the come when i come back after the new year maybe there's going to be one before new year there's going to be a lot more videos so i didn't disappear i'm just been didn't have enough internet or fast internet to upload so i'm gonna try to do that but uh, hopefully it all works out all right thank you guys see you